guys and welcome to the video and I hope that you are feeling awesome. Alright guys, on today's adventure we are venturing to a place called Etchin Hill, more to the place called Etchin Hill Rock. And I've always wanted to see what was all in this area, so I thought, do you know what, let's go there and see what we could find and that's exactly what we're going to do today. Etchin Hill, also known as Etchin Hill, was once a singular village until it was engulfed by the growth of Rugeley. However, it is now an electoral district ward. Etchin Hill is situated just over a mile away from the actual town centre of Rugeley in Staffordshire. Etchin Hill backs onto the Cannock Chase and comprises of several housing estates. Recognisable mixture of buildings from the town's early years and numerous modern developments. So guys, we are now heading towards Etchin Hill Rock. Oh, got some brickwork here. Maybe that was the original path that was there. Looks like we're missing a sign on this billboard here. Wind alert starts now. I apologise if uh, it's not very good quality. It is believed that in the 1820s a horse race circuit ran around the base of... Whoa, okay. That is really cool. You've got a tree right in the centre there, right? And then you've got these trees on the outside. Absolutely crazy cool. Etchin Hill is not that far from where they do the live concerts. We've had um, people from Status Quo to UB40 uh, play nearby. Oh, okay. Let's carry on going around down here. This is a really nice area. That leads to the road there. Oh, we have a, a sign over here. Oh, here we go. Board one of three. Interesting. Okay, all right. So we've got one here. This is where we are. We've just came from that board there that we shouldn't have anything on, so we can't see that board. But that's the one, we've got two. And that's uh, Edging Hill Rock just there, guys. And that's where we're going to end up. Wow. A little bit of colour amongst all this. Well, that there, guys. That there is Etchin Hill Rock and that's where I want to get to the top of. Just look at that tree there. It almost satisfies my OCD. Right, well we do, there's a path there that goes down there leads to the road which I'm, we're not really interested right now. Just gonna see where this goes. This is a, a diversion. I'm assuming this takes us, I assume down somewhere down over there, it takes us down to the, the road. But I have actually looked in old maps of this area and there was nothing built in this area here. So these markings, these are just human uh, footpaths that have been created over many years. Got big holes here, look. This hole here has just been filled in. That's kind of scary, that is. Huh. Especially if you come down there in the pitch black, you'll end up falling straight into that. So here we go. And that takes us back down to the road. There's the road there, so it looks like... Oh, oh my days. That nearly tripped me up. See that, guys? This is why you have to be careful. 
See, look, juice, juice. We've just came from that one, and now we're gonna be going this way. Sorry if I made you giddy. It looks like this uh, area is very uh, attractive to the dog walkers. Wow. Right, if I stop here, those trees, all that there in the distance, that's Canic Chase area of outstanding natural beauty. Wow. This area, I am definitely coming back to, I promise, when it is absolutely beautiful sunshine. Oh my god, there's another hole there. Now, is it me or is somebody, you know, spade happy here or does that look like something's been ripped out of the ground? Because I've lost count how many times I've seen this. All right, this way takes you to the road. Well, I'm curious to see if there is a sign over here, considering that there wasn't a sign on the entrance where we came in, and we saw that second one, but there's supposed to be three of them. All right, where would you be? Ah, here we go. Is this one? Yeah, here we go. There we go. All right, just to give you a bit of perspective here, guys. Let's use this map here of this area, okay? We came in and on that entrance there, there was no sign, okay? So then we walked along here and we got to this, this um, entrance here into it and there was a sign which we've seen, right? So then we've walked all the way around here, walked all the way across here and now we're here at sign two. Oh, we've got some more pictures here as well. Here you go. Right, well that was interesting, at least we managed to see where we've been. Now we found um, all three signs, unfortunately one of them you couldn't see. So we're going to make our way up this side of the rock here. Where does that path take you? It looks like it takes you straight to that person's back garden. Wow. Just imagine like living here though, with this on your doorstep. Right, now I believe that's the area we came in just down over there. So we've gone down on the lower ground. So now we're gonna head on up another level and see what we can find or see up here. Here we go. This is just a little teaser of the site that you can see from here. Okay, wind alert is gonna get windy up here. It's a rock here. That rock there. Oh my god. If you do, don't fall back. Oh, just look at that. And this is what they mean by the sandstone tip. Okay guys, this is literally a wind warning because I can't promise it's going to sound great on camera. So I try and keep the wind as much as possible as I can in this. But I have warned you, it's going to get windy. This is, I believe, one of the highest points in the really. It's absolutely crazy to think guys, we were just doubting all of that over there. And we worked our way all up here. We've gone around in the circle and we've gone around in this direction here and then we came up just over in that direction here. And that's how we got up onto the rock. Absolutely 
absolutely fantastic here. I have got to be the most craziest person right now. It is absolutely so windy right up here, but the views are so beautiful. Like I said, I want to come back here when it's beautiful weather so you guys can see the beautiful scenery that is around here. But it's absolutely so windy right now. I'm going to take myself a little bit of a coffee break and sit down, relax, and look at these wonderful views that is from on top of Edge of Hill Rock. Just to give you a bit of perspective here, this tower here is known as Pie Green Tower. That one just there. That, so if I come back out, right, I bring you around here, right. If I zoom in this section here, you should be able to see some vehicles there. You can see a truck going that direction to the left. That is the A460 going from Hensford into Rugeley. Power station there. It's like you guys, look at this. This is coming out of the ground. I don't know why. There was a building here, or was there was something here? Like some sort of a uh, you know monument or anything on top of there. Guys, I've just enjoyed my nice coffee break and enjoying the lovely views from around this area that I can see. And I've also just finished doing a live video on my Facebook page. Go and check that out if you want to see any live videos in the future. I do try to do them on every uh, adventure that I go to, but unfortunately sometimes signal might be crap or I run out of battery on my phone. But unfortunately guys, it's getting a tad windy here for me, so I'm going to have to venture home now. So I want to say thank you guys for coming by to watch this video. And always do your best to stay positive and scroll those negatives. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Alright, bye-zee-bye.